It doesn't make any sense. This is where I got spicy. Like, shut up. It's you three millimeters. that spice. I dare you to go measure it. It's a, it's a human hair. In the 1800s, when they started rolling this shit, they're like, gauge chart. Hey guys, on this episode of Cutting Corners with Jim and Jake, today we're gonna to be talking about millimeters, inches, and gauge. What is the difference, you know? <laughs> no one knows. No, it, gauge is a weird holdover from the early days of manufacturing when uh, they needed standards to define wire size. So in the early 1800s, people decided, hey, uh, I need to spec out a known wire diameter, so let's come up with a standard. And the way they figured it out at first was where they're gonna start with a size zero, which means a, a very large wire doesn't need to be drawn through a die uh, in order to thin it out. Then they figured, okay, so every time you go through a die to make it thinner, we'll call it a gauge. So seven gauge wire would mean that it has to go through a die seven times to get the, the desired gauge or desired diameter. Sure which you're like, okay, that kind of makes sense in a specific industry. But then uh, they decided to continue with this concept uh, into everything else, uh, especially sheet metal. So today, that's why we have to deal with gauge, uh, a gauge thickness and a millimeter thickness and an inch thickness, and they all kind of overlap and uh, it's hard to keep track of. Exactly, yeah, and so that's kind of, you, you went over the history you know, they're all kind of the same thing, right? We're, they're just different units to describe the thickness of the material, right? And so for instance, right here, um, I do have these three. This material right here is 100 thou thick aluminum. This one is 2.54 thick or uh, millimeters thick. This one is 10 gauge material. They're all and the same. They're all the same material, right? And so there are three but. different ways to describe that. Yes. But the kicker is, is that each material uses a different gauge chart which this is also 10 gauge. Yeah. So 10 gauge mild versus 10 gauge aluminum. And there's a, a very noticeable thickness difference. And that's related to the material properties and goes all the way back to the history lesson that you kind of gave us. And so yeah. different materials and, need to go through the dyes. Yeah, uh, different amounts. Different amount. number of times yeah. and it came out with a, a different thing. It didn't help that in 1855, Brown and Sharp decided to fix the standard because it was wild, wild west. And so they added 39 different gauge steps. Uh, so, so they couldn't even pick like a round number. It was just absolutely weird. And that's why we end up with stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. So in 10 gauge, right, we have 101 or 100 thou aluminum in, in, in inches, sorry, in aluminum, mild steel is a 135, stainless steel is 140, right? So three different thicknesses of material all essentially underneath the 10 gauge window. So when you are referencing gauges, if you want to use gauges, make sure that you are referencing the correct gauge material chart. Um, Senkatsen, we do have gauge charts on our website. So go ahead and check those out if you're yes. interested in that. Also in our materials, when you go look, you can select between inches and millimeters. And in those, you can see the gauge underneath the description of those. Yes. So we are kind of showing you everywhere those. Just if you're, if you're a new engineer and you were told to spec out 10 gauge, 10 gauge in what? Like make sure it's 10 gauge stainless versus mild versus aluminum versus copper, brass, whatever. It's gonna be slightly different. Um, that's why you'll see on our materials, we tend to default to the inch and millimeters because there is a lot of confusion with gauge. Yeah. Um, another thing that we wanted to hit on is mistakes and assumption when going between all three conversions. So oftentimes we'll say, oh man, I was gonna use sun cut send but I need three millimeter material and you guys only have, you know, 3.175. Yeah. And the issue is, is 0.175 of a millimeter is only like six thou, seven thou. Yeah. So, and a human hair is between one and six thousandths of an inch in yeah. thickness anyway, right? So, so we're, we're literally with splitting like, hairs. <laughs> <laughs> were you? you no, were I, I, to say dude, that. I had that queued up the entire time. Oh my God. Okay. He's been planning that. <laughs> Anyway, we're dealing with very, very small differences between three millimeter and, and 3.175. Uh, the other thing that you have to remember is from our mills, from our, our core vendors, they're gonna roll it out to a specific thickness, but they give us a tolerance too, which each material has its own tolerance. The thicker it gets, 
the, the wider that thickness tolerance is. So in thin stuff, it can be three to five thou, plus or minus. Yeah. On thick stuff, it can be 10 to 15 thou. So if you're trying to be ultra, ultra precise in sheet metal, uh, be careful because we can't even guarantee a thickness from the mill, let yeah. alone like, you know, however it's gonna come off the truck that day. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, perfection. You're not gonna <laughs> aim for close, not perfect. Yeah. Uh, talked about thickness tolerance as yeah. well. And those tolerances that we have are on our website underneath our guidelines. And that kind of leads us to tools and references, right? So we have material pages on our website for every single one of these materials. Brass has its own gauge chart. So does copper, so does stainless, so does galvanized. And so go in there, check out those gauge charts if you really care about that. Also the material um, detail pages and stuff are gonna go over those tolerances that Jim was just talking about. Um, so, uh, oh, last thing too is, for those of you that design in millimeters or, or metric, uh, non-freedom units, you're, you're never gonna have a perfectly metric sheet metal unit come from American sourced mills because our weird legacy is started out with wire gauge. It, it went to the mills. They're producing everything in inch or gauge equivalent. It's always gonna be converted to millimeter. So I don't think it, it's gonna be incredibly rare for you to find exactly seven millimeters or exactly 10 millimeters. You're gonna have to work with the freedom unit equivalent. Yep. And that's just how it is. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah. All right, for any questions or uh, to get instant pricing on your part, feel free to upload your step or DXF to sendcutsend.com. Man, is it hot in here? Uh, oh God. It's just, it's hot in here. It's been planning this so, too. Uh, we're always uh, adding on uh, New merch I didn't know website. you had that. <laughs> New Jesus. merch on the website. Go check it out, guys. Check out check out the number. Plus yeah, or minus plus 5 thou. That's amazing. 5 thou as we're talking about. Yeah. Tolerances here. Okay. So, love you guys. <laughs> love you. Bye. bye.